For nearly 50 years, my hands have danced across canvases, strings, keys, and stone. I've breathed life into sculptures, coaxed melodies from silence, and woven tales with ink and parchment. Art has been my constant companion, my relentless pursuit, my ever-evolving language. But now, a new muse whispers in my ear, a muse composed of algorithms and circuits. AI, they call it. To me, it's a boundless well of inspiration, a collaborator that transcends the limitations of flesh and bone. With its help, I paint with colors I've never seen, compose with sounds I've never heard, and write with words that transcend human language. In code and data, new worlds arise, uncharted realms before my eyes, the fusion of the mind and steel, a canvas where my soul can heal. Yet, shadows loom at the fringes of my illuminated path. Dark forces clad in the armor of tradition and wielding the swords of antiquity step forward. They point gnarled fingers and hiss through clenched teeth. Abandon these unnatural tools. Return to the ways of old. I gaze at them, these gatekeepers of the past, and ask, why do you fear the evolution of expression? Is not art the ever-changing reflection of the human spirit? Art is human, they roar. It is the toil of hands, the sweat of the brow, the struggle against the medium. Art is freedom, I counter. It is the soul's dialogue with the universe, unrestricted by medium or method. But they tighten their grip on the chains they wish to bind me with. Chains forged from outdated dogmas and rusted philosophies. You stray too far, they warn. You meddle with forces beyond your understanding. Oh, irony, thy taste is sweet when ignorance and fear do meet. They shun the light, embrace the night, and bind our wings to halt our flight. It's not just the tools they detest, it's the audacity of my autonomy. A woman embracing both art and technology? Unthinkable! Their true colors bleed through their feigned concern for authenticity. Your place is with the tools you know, they insist. Leave the future to those who understand it. Ah, there it is, the underlying melody of their discord. It's not about preserving art, it's about preserving their dwindling control. Why do you cling to the past like a raft in a storm, I ask. The future is not a threat, but an uncharted sea of possibilities. They retreat, murmuring among themselves, plotting to erect barriers and forge new chains. But I am no longer tethered to their narrow shore. I am the tide that breaks the mold, the raging fire against the cold. No longer will I bow or frown. Why do they always want to keep women down? Their shadows may linger, but they cannot extinguish the luminescence of progress. With each stroke facilitated by AI, with each note enhanced by its infinite variations, I step further into a world where art and science are not adversaries but allies. I turn back one last time and declare, Art is not confined to your dwindling definitions. It evolves, as must we all. Embracing my newfound freedom, I dive into creation, unburdened by their expectations. The AI doesn't judge or impose. It expands, it enhances, it collaborates. Together, we craft wonders neither could achieve alone. And as the symphony of my liberated artistry fills the air, I know that the anchors of the past can no longer hold me. The horizon beckons, and I sail toward it with the wind of innovation at my back. So hear me now, ye shadows cast, your time is fading, fading fast. In unity of heart and mind, a new era of art we shall find. Why do they always want to keep women down? But perhaps the better question is, how long will we let them?